A former student from the University of Northern Iowa uh, was allegedly uh, raped and sexually assaulted back in 2004. In fact, the two football players were found guilty of sexually assaulting her, okay? And they did serve prison time for it. One of them um, allegedly raped her and then called his friend, and then his friend came in to the dorm room and then sexually assaulted her. Now, even though they were found guilty and they were convicted, all of that stuff, uh, it turns out that the school, the way that the University of Northern Iowa handled it was not okay. They brushed her off, okay? Okay, they, they basically told her, like, you need to be tougher and you need to pull through this. Okay, uh, and basically they completely wanted to ignore the case and they didn't want to help her at all. And it, it got so bad that she ended up leaving the university. She transferred out and she went to a different university. Now, um, since 2004, she has opened a... or filed a civil lawsuit against the university for the way that they handled the case. Now, what is the University of Northern Iowa doing in response to it? They are ripping her apart. They want access to her telephone records. They want access uh, to her Facebook and social media accounts. They want to know information about her father's death years before this even happened. It's completely unrelated, but they want every little tiny detail about this girl's personal life because they want to rip the victim apart. Uh, because they know they're guilty for the way they handled the case. Well, you know, it's interesting because when they should have taken a lot of action, they took almost no action, right? Mm -hmm. When they should have sprung into action to say, hey, we got to make sure women on this campus are protected, right? They did almost nothing. Now, when their financial interest is at stake, all of a sudden, hey, they want to not, investigate. Yeah, we're not talking about rape anymore. A woman got raped. That's her problem. You're suing us. That's our problem. Wait a minute, right? So all of a sudden, they, they're taking tremendous action. Look, when this lawsuit goes forward, are they going to question her about this stuff? Oh, they are, right? You know yes. it. But you can tell how gratuitous it is by how far they go. You're asking about her father's death, death that happened how many years ago for what reason? Right? That's just, you know what that is? That's intimidation. And that's an active conscious decision by the university and its lawyers. Let's intimidate this woman who was raped and who we did not help. They want access to her private journals and diaries, like diaries that she writes in her book when she's in her room by herself. Mm -hmm. Why do they need access to that? You know, I think that that is a huge invasion of privacy. I could see why they would want access to that, right? Because it might have information that could help them in the case. But still, that's her private journal that's not meant to be public, and you can't violate her privacy like that. And you're absolutely right. It is intimidation. You know, all she wanted when she was going to that university is she wanted them to switch her to a different dorm because she had been raped in the dorm, right? So mm -hmm. she's like, just move me to a different dorm. I can't stay here. They didn't even want to do that. No, I just think about how outrageous that is. Remember, the, the facts are not in dispute. They were convicted. Yes. Okay? They did it. And they said, oh, well, you got raped in that dorm. Oh, well, what a hassle. What a hassle that we have to move your dorm room. Well, now you have the hassle of a lawsuit. So enjoy that. Okay?